Yeah, I will begin with questions uh, that have been submitted, and we'll begin with Ms. Serrano. The first question is specifically, how would you address the performance gap for children entering the Menlo Atherton High School? Specifically. Uh, specifically. And this is two minutes. Yes. Right. Um, I, uh, when I attended the Palo Alto Gun um, College Fair, I met a gentleman who had worked at Edison, um, what is it, 10 years ago, and he told me that in 2002 he had approached the then new uh, school board that what was needed, desperately needed, was a bridge program and that he was prepared to implement that. Mainly, meaning a bridge program between eighth graders or preparing them, uh, start preparing them, in fact, probably before the eighth grade, start preparing them for high school, how, um, a, um, how they will, or show them how they, they, they can compete or, or, or with the high school, um, with the high school courses. Uh, the other thing we need to do, we need leadership. We need leadership. We don't have leadership in the current superintendent. Um, it was really tragic, very tragic, that she was retained for political reasons. The other thing is we need to fire up our, our parents, go out there and really fire them up for education. I can do that. I'm bilingual, bicultural. And uh, I really feel passionate about we need to televise our school district meetings. More importantly than anything is, as I've said it before, if we do not engage our parents, we will not succeed. And I am, I have the personality, I have the, uh, the personality, the, the interactive personality. I, since I'm bilingual and bicultural, I can easily identify not only with Latinos, but African Americans. I've sided with, Af I've lived here since 1988. I've supported Peter Evans. So I've always been both working it with all the communities, I mean the parents of the mm -hmm. school district. So um, that is uh, leadership. We lack leadership. We lack political commitment at the board. We lack courage to do the right things. Thank you. Mr. Gomez? Yes, thank you. I believe that, I don't know what's wrong with this. Can you hear me? Excuse me. I believe that uh, the present school board it's doing a pretty good job, because considering that all the up and downs of the administrations of the Bush administrations, both father and son, that kind of put us back. Now, we can't blame them at all on the, on, on the federal government. We have to take something to blame ourselves. As a parent of three children, and five grandchildren, two grand, great grandchildren. Um, I'm very well, very aware of the attitude towards school. And high school is a very important place where the young adults need to be prepared. And I am sure that they're prepared for it. Sure does lots of work to be done. You're never, never fully 100% prepared for, for children to advance. There's always something to learn. There's always something to push ahead. But with the guidance of teachers, parents, especially parents, uh, these children can advance uh, forward 100%. And if you talk to these children, you can get that, an idea of how they are functioning. And I do talk to the children. And uh, they often, often tell me that I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and uh, I, something's not right. So I generally like to talk to the children and then afterwards talk to the parents, see if there's anything I can do to help them out. I have no authority to do this, but I do it on my own. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Wilson? Yes, thank you. Um, I believe the question was what specific steps would we take to close the gap, the achievement gap, mm -hmm. um, particularly with MA, as you mentioned. 
Um, so I wanted to say that we have um, begun to look at our students in a seamless way. Um, we are an elementary district, but that feeds our students into a high school district. And we, our approach is, should not be we're only dealing with our students from K to 8, but rather that we're looking at the, the life of the, the student's educational experience. So looking at it as a K-12 approach. To that end, the Ravenswood District and the Sequoia High School District have begun articulation meetings between the teachers of the high school district and the eighth grade teachers of the Ravenswood District. And that is a, an effort to, again, uh, create a better understanding of what will be the what are the needs at the eighth grade level to better prepare the kids to more successfully transition in the high school. So those things are underway as we speak. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. Yes. Um, if I, I think starting with um, really looking at our student achievement data, particularly in um, in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, where are our students deficient? Um, what um, if they are doing well um, uh, in academically? How can we enrich their education experiences at, at those grade levels? If they are not, what are we doing as a district, as a, within our schools, within our classrooms, to to intervene? Um, what what um, what programs do we have in place? Um, are we doing a good job during the school day, during instru instructional day, to address this, these needs um, beyond the instructional day? Um, do we have after-school programs uh, that are strong um, in academics, that are focused in these areas that, that our um, middle school students need? Engaging the, the families. Um, I think just de demystifying the whole high school experience is uh, plays a, a very important role and a, a, a big role for our students. I know from experience, I went to Carmont High School, and it was very difficult for my parents to go to Carmont on a regular basis, too. Um, so high school was, was a mystery to some extent, and it is a mystery to, to some of our families. So what can we do as a school district to demystify that, to be able to um, uh, to to provide our parents with um, with the tools to be able to guide their children as they go to high school and beyond high school, um, as they go and enter college or as they um, enter careers, um, and and finally um, that um, th that in our in specifically in Ravenswood that um, academic English language skills are very important are we provide are we do we have language rich classrooms where students are able to to articulate and have those skills when they reach high school or in Menlo Atherton specifically thank you 